Pluto has five moons. It is intriguing that such a small planet can have such a complex collection of satellites. Pluto's entire moon system is believed to have formed by a collision between Pluto and similar sized body early in the history of the solar system. At half of the size of Pluto, Charon is the largest of Pluto's moons and the largest known satellite related to its parent body. Pluto Charon is our solar system's only known double planetary system. The same surfaces of Charon and Pluto always face each other, a phenomenon called mutual tidal locking. Charon orbits Pluto every 6.4 Earth days. Hydra is the outer of the two moons discovered orbiting Pluto in 2005. It is roughly 5000 times fainter than Pluto and is about 2 to 3 times farther than its large moon, Charon. Hydra is roughly 20 to 70 miles wide. Pluto's tiny moon, Styx, was uncovered in a Hubble survey searching for potential hazards in advance of the July 2015 New Horizons spacecraft Pluto flyby. The moon is estimated to be 6 to 15 miles across. It is in a 58,000 mile diameter circular orbit around Pluto that is assumed to be on the same plane with the other satellites in the system. Nix is the inner of the two moons orbiting Pluto in 2005. Nix is just like Hydra, is roughly 5000 times fainter than Pluto and is about 2 to 3 times farther from Pluto than its large moon Charon. It is roughly 20 to 70 miles wide. Pluto's tiny moon Kerberos has a highly reflective surface. It appears to have a double lobe shape with a larger lobe approximately 5 miles across and a smaller lobe 3 miles across. The unusual shape makes scientists speculate that Kerberos could have been formed by the merger of two smaller objects. Kerberos is located between the orbits of Nix and Hydra, which Hubble discovered in 2005.